And when it comes out, it comes out everything. Hi guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So the reason I have a bare face today is because uh, I will be trying a bunch of new makeup as I said in my previous video. If you don't know what I'm talking about then you should probably go and watch the previous video first, uh, my Nyka haul video. Um, wherein I mentioned that this video is going to be a full face of first impressions. Um, so yeah, I'm using these for the first time, so it's really exciting. So yeah, if you want to know how they work, please continue watching. First, I'm going to do some skincare and some skin prep because I do have some new skincare with me. So I'm just going to put my hair back first. That I'm going to be using is Green Seed Natural Advanced Tonal. Um, take some on the palm of my hands, rub it and then just apply it just gently press that into my skin the next thing i'm going to be using is a serum i will be using is the mama earth's skin plump face serum and uh, i'm just gonna directly apply that on the on my face and then i'm just gonna gently massage that into my skin mm, feels so nice mm, smells so good I'm going to let this sit for a couple of seconds and then I'm going to move forward. Uh, the next thing I'm going to be using is the lotion. Uh, which one should I go for? This one or this one? I think I'm going to go for this one. This is a white seed brightening lotion. And I'm just going to quickly put that all over my face. It smells really nice. Shit. And when it comes out, it comes out everything oh my smell mm -mm. it smells so so good oh my god i love smelling it my skin already feels so nice my skin already feels so hydrated and so plump please don't be shocked uh for the amount of skincare that i'll be using but a good skincare gives a good makeup face anyways the last skincare thing that i'm going to be using is the uh green seed natural advanced uh cream this is how it looks like and I'm going to be using very small, this is, that is all that, that, is all that I'll be using. And then I'm just going to quickly, it is definitely a bit thicker than the lotion. Uh, lotions are thinner than the cream, so it is definitely thicker. Um, okay, so uh, I don't have many new base products. So I'm just going to be using my uh, regular foundation. So the for foundation, I'll, for foundation I'll be using uh, and mixing these two foundations uh, from LA Girl and from Forever 52. So I'm just going to quickly take some of that and I'm going to be applying that on my face. I'm just going to quickly dot it all over my face. Uh, I'm not going to put... <clears throat> any on my forehead because i do feel my forehead is a bit darker than the rest of my face so i'll avoid that uh, uh by the way i do have so i have a new foundation brush the brush that i have is a pack 231 brush and i'm going to be using with this um i feel really nice and soft the reason i'm the reason i'm looking there is because i have a mirror that's it I love that you don't have to work so much with this brush uh, it requires very less effort and uh, yeah it feels really nice and um, I love this brush I thought it would be nice and it is great whatever is left on the brush I'm just gonna uh, tap that on my forehead can you see the glow from within sort of a look that is because of the skincare that we used. For concealer, I'll be using my old concealer, Glean Age Rewind Concealer. And for brightening, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Concealer. So I'm just going to put that under my eyes. That's it. Using my Pack 219 Concealer Brush.
to powder the areas where I've applied concealer. I'm going to be using my Maybelline's Fitly Loose Powder in the shade Light. And I'm just going to dust off the areas that I've applied the concealer like so. Using my Pro Art BF200 brush, I'm going to just powder that. Mm -hmm. If you want, you can powder your whole face, but I'm not going to do that. Now, let's move on to the eyes. I'm just going to quickly fill in my eyebrows. So I have two new eyeshadow palettes with me. I'm confused. I don't know what I'm gonna, what look I'm gonna be doing because this is not a tutorial. Um, so yeah, and first let's go with this palette. Uh, I'm gonna be using this. I'm gonna be using this almost a pastel, a blue shade. Uh, shade right here. I'll be using this, and I'm using the brush Pro Art PE22. Okay, that hardly did show, but I'm gonna side it. Uh, I'm gonna be using that <coughs> on my crease. It does have some fallout, so I'm just gonna be careful. Much better. Now, go <coughs> in with a very, very light hand. Like I think I'm gonna go on with this palette. And I'm going to be using uh, these color and then I'm going to take my Pro Art PE19 brush and inner half. Not bad. That's really wow. Really nice. Shimmy machine. And I'm going to go, that, go with that on the outer half of the lids. Okay, so I quickly did my other eye and uh, this is how it looks like. Um, now the teal color that we used is a very pigmented, very pretty. It lines up very nicely. Um, but the purple one on the other hand is not very pigmented. Um, didn't really work well with the brush, neither with my fingers. Um, so that's a little bit of a bummer but other than that the blue matte shade the teal is beautiful now i'm gonna quickly do my lower lash line so for that i have uh an eye pencil this is the in color intense longer eye pencil uh this is a new one that i have mascara I will be using the essence mascara that I have moving on to the lashes I have the bronzing professional lashes in M72 and I also have a new lash view so I'm gonna be used so I'm gonna be using that um, this is how the lashes look like. I'm using the Miss Claire waterproof uh, eyelash adhesive, and this is how it looks like. I'm gonna use a bronzer. So the bronzer that I'll be using is the Flower Beauty Heat Wave bronzer, which I already have, and I'm gonna be using some. And just start bonding her face. I have a new blush. This is the Kivri Matte Blush in Soft Nude, and this is how it looks like. This it has a lot of fallout though. I'm gonna take my handy beauty blender and just blend it out. That is a lot of pigment, oh my god. Uh, okay, I just applied some highlighter. I used the Maybelline's Master Chrome Highlighter in Molten Gold. I've, as you can see, I've hit pan on this. So I just used this, just to put some on my color bones. All right, so we are almost done. I'm just gonna <coughs> figure out what lipstick to use. 
this yeah like this lipstick i'm going to be using these two the uh this is the lacme absolute argan oil uh, lipstick and this is in the shade brunch new this is how it looks like and the next and the second lipstick that i'm going to be mixing is the smashbox always on liquid lipstick in the shade gulabi this is how it looks like it is a beautiful pink okay this is it uh this is the final result uh this is how it looks i really like how my eyes look i love how everything looks um so yeah, i'm just gonna come a bit closer and show you how it looks like so this is how it looks like other than the lashes i hope i did a good job in doing everything else the lashes are behaving a little bit weird today i'm gonna give a quick mini review of everything that i've used i think everything that i've used uh in today's video was pretty damn good uh, i'm gonna start with the skincare uh the skincare was amazing i think everything everything that i've used on my skin worked pretty well and uh, it made my makeup look so beautiful and flawless so it's a yay for the skincare that i've used um coming to the eyes uh the eyeshadow palettes that i used are so good i'm so so impressed uh other than the purple shade i think the shades are uh, obviously i couldn't use uh every shade in this palette but uh i'm definitely gonna do that here on the instagram well in my future videos it's are so pigmented uh, they blend very easily uh, the shimmers are really nice so i really, really love this palette and i'm highly impressed pretty decent for the price and yeah that's all i'll say uh, lashes that i'm uh, coming to the lashes that i that i'm wearing uh for as i said for the price it's pretty pretty damn good uh i like the quality uh the quality is also pretty decent uh so yeah that's it if you're just starting out and if you're looking for an affordable eyelash you can try this brand out they have a lot of styles as well talking about this foundation brush it's a so 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 freaking good i loved how it blended my foundation you have to apply minimum effort or when you use this brush if you use this brush so it's so 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 freaking good as you saw in the clip the blush is so this blush is so 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 freaking pigmented uh i'm blown away by the pigmentation of this blush it looks so beautiful on the skin as you can see it looks very very nice especially this shade looks very very nice uh so if you're looking for a blush i will highly recommend this this and the eyeshadow palettes has definitely has to be one of my favorites from today's video and yeah that is it that is all i had for you today uh, this is all uh for today's uh, video um thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much for watching this video uh, if you watch till here please subscribe yeah it's free uh help me reach 1k soon if you like this video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel before you leave click on the little bell to get notified every time i upload a new video uh, you can also follow me on my instagram and i'm gonna see you in my next video bye